Hello, Taurus. I know, I know, I know this is late, but hey, I'm here now. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with you guys. Let's see. Celtic Cross, guys, for the month of December. I'll be right back with mid-month. Energy around you. Four of Swords, resting. Okay, trying to get your thoughts together. This is Libra Energy. There's something that you guys feel exhausted from here in the month of December. Maybe some kind of hurt, some kind of disappointment, some truth that you've learned that you feel like, you know, you just kind of need to take a step back and kind of reflect on it. It's crossing my Taurus friends. Okay, are all my cards? No, they're not. King of Wands in reverse was crossing you. Now that's kind of being out of your element. Or either this is someone else. A fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius um, person that is not functioning, you know, in the highest of vibrations. Or somebody that you feel like, you know, may have some anger issues. Or this could be you guys that you feel like, you know, you're needing to take a step back because something is making you angry. Okay. So, vice versa. It could go. What is the underlying issue here for Taurus? The Nine of Cups. Your level of contentment. Your happiness. Um, I feel like there's a situation that is kind of like rocking the boat for you guys. That's kind of disrupting your peace. And you are trying to find that, like, that level of peace and reserve that you need to... Um, you know, to be healthy, to, to function, to be yourselves. Because there's something that I feel like is knocking you off a little bit. That's kind of like throwing you off, rather, with someone. Okay? Let's see the recent past here. The Nine of Cups is Piscean Energy. What's going on in the recent past for Taurus? The higher fed, you knew what it was that you wanted and and you knew how to go about getting it. There's somebody I feel like that um, is kind of challenging you guys this month. There's somebody that's kind of making you um, veer away from what it is that you would normally do or how you would normally, normally respond. Um, but there's something about them too that you feel like, oh, you can be happy with this person. It's kind of weird what, what I'm picking up on here. It's kind of weird. I think somebody is making you, um, what, not making you, but for a fixed sign for Taurus, for somebody to kind of change up the way that you think or for you to change the way you think, um, for someone else, this some this is somebody that really has some some heavy influence on you, I feel. Okay? There's somebody that's kind of like, um, you know, breaking down your walls is what I'm gathering here, okay? Crowning thoughts for Taurus. The Page of Swords. You're trying to figure this shit out. <laughs> I feel like there's somebody here that has come into your life, whether it's a past person or whether it's somebody totally different, that has really kind of thrown you for a loop, that is really kind of like you're not in your comfort zone right now. This person is bringing something out of you and you're trying to figure out what the hell that is, okay? Um, I think that you're still trying to keep up your, your, you know, your hard exterior, um, and not really like just completely giving in, but I do feel like there's somebody here that's kind of like touching a soft spot in you. I'm trying to figure this shit out. Okay. Um, air energy there. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's coming in for Taurus? The moon in reverse. Hmm. Cancer energy. Now, you know, the moon is like having all of these these deep feelings and 
and really not knowing if somebody else has these feelings for you. Um, there's things that are unclear for you. But in reverse, it's like there's some there there's feelings being revealed here. There is um, issues being resolved. Transparency. Okay, things are becoming known to you. So I think that there. I don't know. Or is it you and Aries that's kind of like you know getting together here because their reading was kind of similar to yours there's there's somebody I feel like is definitely um, uh, spearheading some change in your life currently for some of you okay how is Taurus viewing this situation the nine of wands hmm very challenging I feel like um, there's been a lot of communication going on I do feel like you, you guys are, you know, you're kind of tired um, because you've been putting in a lot of effort. But um, I feel like this is something that you feel like is worth it and you're, you're wanting to continue. You're wanting to explore more. Okay. Sagittarius energy. And I see the Ten of Wands on the top that flipped over. I'm going to put that back in there. So you guys are definitely getting to a point. If you haven't um, been intimate with this person, I do see some sort of um, um, intimate encounter coming here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what the influence is here for Taurus. The sun. Yes, sir. Happiness. Leo energy. Enlightenment. Okay. Feeling confident in this situation. Feeling confident in yourself. You notice that the moon and the sun, they're right there. The sun shines. The light. Or the darkness. Things are being revealed for you guys here. Okay? I love this. Hopes or fears for Taurus. This might be some... Some some good stuff shaking here for you guys. Hmm. Ace of Cups. I think you wonder if this person feels the same way about you. And let me just tell you that the way I'm feeling right now, I feel like hallelujah, yes, they do. Okay. There's there's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of of um uh, of stirred emotions that are go that's going on here between the two of you because I kind of get the feeling that both of you have been in your shells or you've been um, in, in this very strong place where nobody's able to like get through to you for a while but I do feel like that's coming down for the both of you and I feel like that's that bull and that's that ram so for a lot of you guys this is an Aries energy um, that you know is um, significant for some of you that fiery energy we have leo and sagittarius here pisces is here um taurus maybe another taurus like yourselves but like right there um on the aries cusp but i strongly feel aries is here and significant for a lot of you guys okay let's see what the overall outcome is here for taurus what is the overall outcome for taurus six of wands look at that success Happiness, unity, acknowledgement, okay? Can't be clearer than that. Again, Leo energy there. And I think that's what you, you're trying to figure out here with this page of swords. Like, who is this person? You know, I, I, I feel good with them. I think maybe we could be successful. I think, you know, you know, I, they can, I can let them in. So this is what I'm getting here for some of you guys, okay? So that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.